Hi, I'm Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Macari and this is my sister Mare and we are clearly not in my house. We are <laughs> in our hotel room. We um, are currently outside of Pittsburgh. We drove here from New Jersey for the weekend to see Taylor Swift, um, but also to thrift and we have a lot. <laughs> it was filling the trunk of our atlas. So um, we'll see if we can remember where everything is from. And um, yeah, so uh, s buckle down. This is gonna be a long one. This is, my this is from a red, white, and blue in Pittsburgh. It was the second one we went to. We went to two of those. And that's the same store that I go to at home that I film a lot of hauls on. Yes. This is a Sound of Music, the um, movies soundtrack on vinyl. Um, I have this not from this movie, from a different one or the Broadway recording, um, but I love this version, so I got this. And Mary doesn't sell the stuff oh, no. is for her. This is all for me. <laughs> <laughs> and we have stuff for my mom too, just <laughs> random things. Um, you'll see I have like a color palette throughout this. This is an Isaac Mizrahi Live. I don't know why it's live. It's the Target line of this oh. stuff. Well, it's just like an orange and pink striped t-shirt. Um, the lighting is not great in here, but we're working with what we have. <laughs> yeah, but um, I liked it and I change out of my clothes a lot at home when I get home from work, so I do that. And then <laughs> this looks like um like a middle-aged dad on vacation shirt, <laughs> which is like something we've spoken about for a long time. This is, oh, the record was $3. I knew you'd like to do that. This t-shirt was four, which is a little bit expensive, but it's fine. <laughs> and then this is from White Stag, which I've never heard of before. This was also $4. It's like a super old lady bird. <laughs> yeah, but I, I'll wear this open with a tank top underneath, so I look like I'm, 27 and not 57. Um, and then I got this skirt, which is from Fashion Bug, which is a vintage, usually plus size brand. Um, but it's blue. It has like a um, paisley-ish pattern on it. Um, I had a more neutral skirt that was very similar to this a few years ago that I wore all the time. And I'm trying to wear as much color as possible in my wardrobe. So I got that and, and that, that was $3. Yeah. Um, I got this for my best friend. Um, it's <laughs> the children's show, Mags and Ruby. This was a dollar. I just thought it was funny. I worked with the color scheme. Um, I got That's this cute. little velvet bag. This was $8, so it was a little expensive, but it's in really nice shape. Um, I have a lot of events in my life, so I thought it would be good too. Oh, thank, thank you. It's embroidered. Yeah, with color. So I thought it was really cute and versatile. And then these are the hard goods I got from here. It's, sorry about the crinkles. Um, it's similar to milk glass, but it's blue, which I've never seen before. It's got like this really pretty, not carving, but like however they make this. Um, and this was $20, but I've never seen anything like this before. And it's really heavy. And then I got these two little shell plate things that are iridescent in blue and they were ten dollars for both of them um i thought they were really cool there's no brand on either of those but i like old stuff so i went with that three things are from an uptown cheapscape which i've heard people talk about but we don't have them by us so i had never been to one this was reformation um, and they had a lot of stuff like very marked up, but there was quite a few things that weren't. So this was $11 um, and then everything was 10% off, I think. Something so like it was like 10 bucks. Um, my total for these three things ended up being 31, I think. And then this is Sailor, which is an expensive brand. I think like Neiman Marcus and Revolve and stuff sell it. And this is a romper, um, but I was having a hard time finding like the name and the stock photos of this. So we'll see about um, that, how how it'll do. But I have a dress from them that I think I've listed for like 200. And this was on clearance, so it ended up being like $6. And then this, is a daydreamer and free people collab. Mare found this t-shirt and sorry Mare. Oh no, it's okay. And, <laughs> um 
this was 17 but uh 10% off and it I think I have it listed for almost 60 so it had really good comps um and then these three things I got at a Goodwill in State College Pennsylvania and this is Zara it's new with tags which is why I got it it's a wrap dress um it was like a blogger favorite when I looked it up. So um, that really is always cute. good. Yeah, and the dresses were $5 each. And then I got this one too. This is Bowdoin. I pick up lots of Bowdoin. This one's kind of like a simple, kind of boring one, but also $5. And then this is a Lily Pulitzer scarf. And this is the Alpha Fee print from when they did the sorority line, which is probably 12 years ago at this point. It was when I was in college. Um, and this was 99 cents. So these don't do that great anymore, but they used to be super popular. This, I also got a couple of things at Uptown Cheap State. I feel like I'm very yeah. out of frame. Um, so the first thing was this orange dress, which I actually wore today. It um, was new, right? It was new with tags. It's from Who What Wear, which is a Target line. It's like an orange midi dress. Um, it has shearing on the back, and then I thought they were like self-tie shoulder straps, but they're sewn, but you could like, I'm gonna probably seam rip them and tie them on my own because I need them to be a little bit tighter. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I wanna say like 12 or 15 or something, but since I'm buying it for myself, I don't care about the comp. I just care about like what I like. And then the other thing I got from here is a Forever 21. Oh, I got two things, but one of them's not vintage. Um, it's like the blogger skincare headband, um, but I've never seen one in the wild, so I got that. And then this is a Forever 21 top. It was $9. Um, it's like a mesh shirt I've gotten. I, ha I own one very similar to this. And then I, own, I do Newly, which is the anthropology rental service. I rented multiple mesh turtlenecks in the past so um it was nice to be able to pick one up in the wild in the wild um all right this is from the second red white and blue we went to and this is sale to sable yeah right sale to sable um and that is a very expensive preppy brand like um a nantucket martha's vineyard new england kind of brand um, I paid 12 for this and I've sold this brand a couple times. I don't find it very often. And then this is Lily, um, size zero, which is teeny tiny, but that's okay. Has the dry cleaner tag, size zero. And this is just a white dress. Um, as far as solids go, her whites do pretty well. Um, the sleeves are sheer. $10 for this is definitely a yes for me as someone who loves to sell Lily. Wouldn't necessarily say go out of your way to pick up that one, but I am incapable of leaving Lily behind at the thrift store. Um, yeah. This is Denim Forum, which is an Aritzia house brand for denim. And they are a straight leg black jean, um, size 24. Those were six fifty. Um, we'll see how these do. I don't love to sell black denim, which I think I have three pairs of black denim from this store, so there's that. But um, <laughs> these are rag and bone, and I think they must be men's because they're size thirty four, and that is not a thirty four women's. Um, but they're the ankle skinny, which feels like a weird style to be men's but i should be able to tell when i look them up so yeah black jeans and those were five dollars which is why i got them um i probably left 10 pairs of rag and bone behind because they were all skinny and like 15 dollars and then the third pair of black denim was torrid and these are my size if i want them um and they were only four dollars so 
I'll probably try them on first, and if I don't like them, I should still be able to get like 20, 25 for those. And then these are American Eagle, and I grabbed them because they are new with the tags. They are a size zero and skinny, but um, they were only $7, and I figured for new with the tags, that was worth it. There was three pairs of new with tags American Eagle ones, and I only ended up grabbing those because the other ones felt a oh, little dated. dated. Um, like very distressed and that kind of stuff. And then this is a handbag, and this is Ralph Lauren. Um, I believe it's wool. There's probably a material tag somewhere, but I like this a lot, and I don't find too many handbags at home, so I grabbed this for $12. Yeah, um, our car was chaotic. That, we brought it all in because we needed to uh, deal with the mess that was the car. Yes. So we went to an estate sale today. We just happened upon it, and it was actually really good. Yeah. Um, so this is one of the things we got from there. This is a flower tin from Trenton, New Jersey um, for our mom. We paid $2 for this. I think total at this estate sale, we paid $30 for all the stuff we got. Um, these are from there too. Our mom likes like old, not like antique old, but like, I don't even know, like, like I don't even know how to describe it. Like something you'd find at the bottom of a barn kind of that things. Is, like, yes. so um, we got her three very old bottles so two of them are clorox which like clorox in a glass bottle is hilarious um those were two dollars each here's the same one and then this one is an old lysol bottle which is so funny i love these and then this one was just like this teeny tiny i think it's cheese is that what it was i'll look yeah, it's cheese from New York. Yeah. And then Meredith got this one that has the flowers on it. I thought it was cute. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Ah, this is two things I got um, on Friday on our way in at a good one, I think. Um, so I wrapped this up in paper towels for safety. Um, I'm getting married next year and we're doing animals throughout our tablescapes um his foot is missing but i think the flowers are gonna cover it anyway so it's fine but it's just like a bunny that um we're gonna spray paint to be the color we want um and he was 2.99 and i think he was he might have been one of the colors so it's worth it <laughs> when we find them and then this is also for our mom it's a cabbage bowl she loves stuff like this. I think it had a lid at a, ooh, it had a lid at some point, but now it doesn't, which is fine. She'll just fill it with stuff. And this was eight dollars. Was this from there too? No, that's from the estate sale. Oh, okay. This is from the estate sale say it has a price. Yes, yeah, it's here. Um, these are like shell planters, um, but they're like really cool and marbled. Um, and they're really heavy. Yeah, they, they are were heavy. saying eight dollars for these. I doubt that's what we paid for them. Um, um I don't know. But it was 30 for everything. So. so, but um, I thought these were really cool and interesting. These are from there too. Oh, yes. This is these were stuff. free. Free. Yeah, they had like boxes of free stuff. So they're just a bunch of like gold frames. I don't know what you're planning to do with these. Wedding things. Okay. more wedding things. Well, but, so then um I want a I think they're called a porthole mirror which are like the mirrors that have this you can see the reflection of our hotel room and our makeshift <laughs> tripod but um it has like the domed mirror in it um I want a big one of this and it was there for four dollars and super cute and petite and I love that Oh, there's actually oh, there's tape, tape in there. Another, like, old tin for our mom. And there's actually electrical tape in it, so. That's cool. <laughs> and um, bonus. And then another thing for my wedding are these two butterflies that are already painted gold. Um, they're super lightweight, so we should be able to hang them on anything. I'm thinking my seating chart, but, like, okay. this one doesn't have a ton of stuff in it. But 
for the purposes of bringing it up from the car, um, it would be good. This was from the first red, white, and blue we went to. Um, it was $5 and green was not one of the colors. I'm gonna take the weird grapes off. Um, but I thought it was just like a cool wicker vessel. Um, I have one of these in my hallway at home that has like pompous grass in it. So maybe I'll add that to that collection. And then um, this was super cool from the estate sale. It was tagged as $5. It's like a Vogue print. Um, I love like, they're not like printed mirrors, but that's kind of what they are. Um, we have a few in our apartment already, but I really liked this one and it's in really nice shape for definitely being old. We went to a Goodwill outlet. Um, there's two, I believe in Pittsburgh. And I got 37, 36 or 37 pounds of clothes and nothing was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like I find at home, I would say, but there was some pretty solid stuff. Um, some things that I'll probably take to Plato's Closet or send a thread up. Um, this I grabbed because it's new with tags, Streetwear Society. It's got a $30 price tag on it. Um, it's a romper. I thought it was a dress actually, but Plato's is my plan for that. And this is Loft. It's like a really soft sweater with little ties on the sleeve. Um, I'll either sell it or send it to thread up. Ooh, this is Talbot's. It's gonna be hard to show you the tags here with the lighting, but um, it's like, kind of looks like a shirt layered under like a, sweat like a shirt sweatshirt t-shirt. <laughs> um, so I will probably sell that myself. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch size small, like gray crop top with a tie in the front. This is definitely old Pendleton. Um, it kind of has a decent bit of wear to it, but um, it's definitely old. So I grabbed it anyway. Um, definitely wool too. It yeah. feels, <laughs> feels yeah. very wooly. Um, so I'll sell that myself. Thread up wouldn't take that with that level of wear. Um, was this for you or? No, I just got okay. it. Um, this is LL Bean, but kind of a style based pickup of this corduroy. Corduroy? <laughs> corduroy. Corduroy. No, I shirt. shouldn't. <laughs> Turquoise shirt. Um, that's cute. This is one of the Free People sweaters. Oh, go ahead. No, oh, this is, we found two of the same Free People sweater. It's like a cold shoulder, gray. This one's gray, basic sweater. I think this is a size small, extra small. So we'll see, but on the more dated side of Free People, but <laughs> yeah. at the bins, it's fine. This is Calvin Klein. Um, there was a couple Calvin Klein pieces and I like to send that to thread up. Um, it does well there, but uh, this one was light and some of the other ones were pretty heavy. Um, size eight, it's kind of like a scuba material. It's in yoke. Yeah. Um, this is a Lucky Brand size large graphic t-shirt that just says Born oh. to Lose on it. With I'll probably some do that play -Dos. Yeah. This is also Talbot um, and the size tag is cut off, but I liked it enough that I'll just list some measurements it has some fringe on it and they were selling it at their goodwill for seven dollars um and it didn't sell so it ended up at the bins i'll let you do these these are a great brand lip service it's like a goth i don't know what time frame it is i don't know if it's 2000s or more like 2010 but the two times that i've found it um definitely remember this um, it is sold super quick, like, I mean, within 10 minutes for full price. Um, these are kind of strange, but they're lace-up cheetah pants. Um, they're kind of cool. Size 30. And they have a little bit of fading on the back, but doesn't even matter. Uh, I will probably try to list these for like $80. <laughs> which will more than cover this entire haul from the bins. Yeah. This is a Vince sweater, size small. Um, 
probably one of the nicer labels that we found. We only found one from this brand, yeah. but some tights. I'll see if Play-Dohs will take these. Um, I think they're adult size, but since they were new. This is a cache, cash size cache. Cache large. Uh, it's like a navy blue velvet. You probably won't be able to see in this light. Um, it's it's like a pencil skirt, but it's really cool. Um, this is just children's place, which I don't normally pick up, but this had the tags and uh, once upon a child will take pretty much anything that has tags on it. These are Arizona Jean Co. Which is uh, just like JC Penny or something, but they have like the tags. They have so. tags, they're a boot cut. Um, so I feel like these will sell nicely for you. Yeah, I, I might just take them to play those mm. too. And then this is, I don't remember if we looked this up or not, but A loves A. Oh, we were intrigued by the tag. Yeah, they're like a straight jean. Um, I don't remember if they were good or not, but uh, I'll take, Play-Dohs will take them if they're not worth me selling. Okay, this is the other bag that we got from the bins of clothes, and then we have some hard goods stuff. Um, this is Talbot's. It's not that cute, but it was new with tags. Um, it retailed for $109. Why? I don't know. So, um, I might just send that to throw it up. This is a We The Free, like, long sleeve top with like a frill and also a sleeve underneath interesting but uh size extra small and they were selling it for six dollars yeah this was eight dollars this is just loft um like a faux suede this style always kind of reminds me of like thanksgiving i'll probably list that this is Bershka, which is a European brand. It's like got a geometric print on it. I'm gonna take that to yeah, Plato's. midi skirt with a slit. Uh, these are Lily. They're definitely not a great piece from Lily, but at the bins, I was excited to see it. Um, size small, little shorts. This is a Cat and Jack sh denim shirt, little boy shirt. Once upon a child. Yeah. This is Drew, which is a decent brand, but I have no luck selling it. Um, their stuff is linen a lot of the time, which I have a feeling this is. Um, yeah, 55% linen. I'm gonna send this to thread up. This is a pair of gray washed Pilcro skinny jeans, size 26. That's anthropology. Yes. Um, this is just a pair of Pittsburgh socks that we knew in the package. Um, I'll either just stick them in my husband's sock drawer or sell them if they're worth anything. Can you talk about this? Okay, yeah, this is weird. <laughs> So this is Patagonia, but like, what is it? <laughs> is it a bathing suit? Is it a little kid's bathing suit? It says size four, but this, yeah, this has to be kids, right? This can't be an adult size four. Um, it's just like 100% neoprene. I have no idea what it is. Um, yeah, that, that was a weird find. These are a pair of Newick Tags Rue 21 cargo pants, which are very in right now with the cargo things, uh, size small. Yeah, Rue 21 isn't something I sell, but um, Play-Dohs will definitely take those. This is a hat that has the Anthro Urban Outfitters RN on it. It doesn't say anywhere which of the brand it is, um, or which one, if it's Urban or Anthro. Um, it's 100% nylon. Cute. This is actually for me. This is just a nightgown from Torrid that I'll wear around my house. Some American Eagle. These are the super high rise jegging. Um, American Eagle is great to pick up from the bins, size too long. Um, and they have some distressing on the knees. This is a really cute Cat and Jack size 4T little dress with daisies on it. Uh, yeah, that'll be once upon a child. child. This has no brand, but we loved it. It's this vest and it just has this really pretty print and buttons. It's probably reversible if you wanted it to be, um, but it has, as far as we could tell, no, no, no information. Nothing on the buttons? No, right? No. 
sometimes on reversible stuff it's in the pockets but yeah i don't see anything so it'll just go under like the vintage category and yeah i thought that was really cute this was an exciting find this is from a brand called happy place with me which neither of us have heard of but when we looked it up they were like it was like a hundred and ten dollars new or something yeah something like that it's, it's a just bathrobe, like a bathrobe and it had the belt um yeah it's so really nice you couldn't find too much on poshmark of it when you looked it up right but Very um nice. i'll probably try and list that for like 50 or so and then these are tied together so they look crazy right now but it's a bathing suit set that's kind of them yeah so i think the bottom at least is reversible it's airy a high rise bottom and then this is like a super strappy this is probably oh the gosh. neck and then like this strap would wrap around your waist i'm guessing so i, I like know. to sell swim sets not like solo pieces yeah. but I will pick up some good solo pieces to send a thread up because they separate their swim anyway, which is stupid. But this is an Athleta camo print t-shirt. American Eagle turtleneck in purple. Um, it has one pull that I should be able to fix, no problem. Um, I think we looked it up and it was pretty recent and it's an XXL. One of us oh. might want it. Um, it's from 2020. This might end up in one of our closets. Um, this is a Topman bomber jacket. Um, Topman used to sell in the U.S. Now it's only through Nordstrom. Um, Mary used to work for Top. I did. I worked for Top Shop for a very long time. Um, it is actually U.S. Men's 42, which I don't really know what that means, but I'll see. It's like a large-ish. Yeah. If you can't sell it, Matt would probably. Yeah, I thought you were getting it for mat anyway um just a scarf they're so light at the bins they're nice to wrap stuff in or you can use it in your hair or whatnot this is for me this is a christmas stocking and crocheted one um i have a bunch of these that i hang at christmas almost done oh these are for mary oh yeah were you gonna try and cut these into shorts or i just think so them? yeah i'll try them on we'll see how they fit um this is a Reese dress shirt, size large, just a white dress shirt that doesn't have like any staining on it, which is nice. And um, this is like a kid set of like long johns that was new in the package, um, size kids XL. There's a rip, but that doesn't matter. They're new, so. Yeah. This is all the hard goods we got at the Goodwill outlet. Um, I spent like $19 on all of this. and. At our outlet at home, the hard goods are not good at all. They don't put much in the bins and it's very, I wouldn't even say like, it looks like they take out like the worst of the worst and put it in the hard good bins and yeah. do something else with the other stuff. So this was surprising. I'd say like a third of the bins were hard goods. Yeah. Which was least. really nice. And they refreshed them while we were there. So we yeah. had some nice inventory. Um, Our mom, uh, again with the old tin. tin she this is i have to stand up the bed charles chips uh she's a big one of these it was tagged for 25 cents at a garage sale okay um this is like a little bunt pan thing she'll either make some kind of craft out of this or i don't know what hang it on what she does um and then there's six of these so they're actually candlesticks but they look like little trumpets and during christmas time she has like a bunch of brass horns, horns that, I found <laughs> that she puts her. out. So we thought that these would be perfect to go along with that kind of stuff. And then another old tin for her for Swift's beef brains. Because you know, all your beef brains. So who's eating beef brains? I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a, a see another good bag. This is. Yeah. Carry land, which I don't know what that is, but the look of it's really nice. Yeah. It has like brown and it's gray or like taupe. Really nice, really good condition. This was just some little <laughs> Christmas ornaments. They weigh absolutely nothing. Yeah, so. I don't know if it weighs five ounces and they're brand new. This was my favorite find of the bins. It's this little like floral tin. And what's rattling inside, you ask? 
one single <laughs> Gaston figurine from <laughs> Disney's Beauty and the Beast. There's not a ton of Disney in this, but I'm a huge Disney collector. Uh, he fell into the container when I was taking it out, and it felt like I had to take him home. These are some little dis. <laughs> Okay, these are some little kids Disney flip-flops. Um, I am guessing I'm just gonna take these to Once Upon a Child because I don't, I don't think they're- Are they on the bottom? Yeah, there's a size, but I was trying to see if they were Disney parks, I would sell them, but I would think they're just like Target Disney. So Once Upon a Child will take those for sure. What is this? Is this just another bag? Yeah, another bag. It's like a clutch brocade with uh, tassels and like a tan. It has no brand or anything, so I'll probably take that to Play-Doh's. And then this is a pair of Jack Rogers. And they're in pretty good shape. The bottoms of Jack's wear super easily. They're one of my favorite styles of shoes. Um, these are a size six and Probably about 30 or so for those. Did you know about these? Yeah. No. I was I'm just going to take those to play -Dohs. With like a mirror lens. Go ahead. And then this like very cute little Vera Bradley bag. It's in good shape. We found a ton of Vera Bradley in so multiple much. of the stores. I, don't, I um, think that's the only one we bought. bought. But always check the corners on Vera Bradley. Some <laughs> little sticky notes for my house. What are those? They're like Halloween Oh things. lord, <laughs> why is there a hot dog? Um, for our mother, it's an Easter decoration. He has a hanger on the back. He's cute. She laces. Elizabeth apparently gets them whenever she goes to the bins. I could have used these with my pants yesterday. My pants were too big and falling down. Oh, I don't talk about that one. Um, this is a mid-century wall clock that originally sold for six dollars. It works. I plugged it in. Um, I just thought it was really cool. It's from West Clocks Electrics. Uh, I don't care about the brand. I just like the vibe. And then our mom has a whole bunch of vintage scales. So we picked this one up. It's a little on the heavy side for the bins, but what did we say? That it ended up being like $6. $6. It was like a third of what I paid. Yeah, which so. is fine. Got that. That's all the bin stuff, I believe. Yes, unless you've had extra in a different bag. Oh, this is, we, we went and met uh, Puxatoni Phil this morning. <laughs> um, we were the like, groundhog. The groundhog. We were like, oh my God, we're in the area. So we went and met him. And while we were in Puxatoni, we were driving around to find all the uh, groundhog statues and passed a Goodwill. So we stopped. And it we, was not a good Goodwill. For clothes. There were some good hard goods. I got two of these little uh, vintage-ish reindeer that say, season's greetings on them uh they were a dollar each and then this is very on brand for me this is just like oh, yeah. a little two dollar yellow tray a bit closer so we can oh. see. yeah it was two dollars it's like a card crystal glass tray and these were yours from red white red white and blue yes um, i think i'm gonna paint these uh, they were five each. There's a zebra and a giraffe. Um, I just thought they were cool and friends. Um, and I'm going to paint them like bright colors to hang on my wall. This is just a crystal bowl. Um, again, I definitely have a vibe that I go for. Uh, this was $4. This one, the first red, white, and blue. I got these for my mom. It's candle, like a, I want it, my brain said menorah, but I know that's not what they're called. <laughs> they're just a like candle carrot. holder. Like, yeah, so. It does have menorah vibes. <laughs> um, but they're little carrots and I paid eight for this. Are these for you? Yes, you these can have one if you want. I think there's three trays of this they're like banana leaves. leaf. It says food safe. Oh, great. They're for 10 bucks. I think blue might have been a color though, so it might have been lost. Oh, this is super heavy. Oh, I found two of these. They're two brass wall hangings. They were the first thing I picked up. Oh, let me get this one. Two brass wall hangings. Um, I thought they were too cool to leave and they were five each. We stopped at one antique store on our way in. Um, I'm not a salt and pepper shaker collector, 
but I have a few pairs and if anyone ever intrigues me, I pick them up. I thought they were so fun. Did you see them? Yeah. They're just from the 1940s. They're a duo of an elephant man and woman in hats. Oh, maybe they're not even salt and pepper shakers. They're just friends. <laughs> we ended up not needing because we found a better one that Mare wanted for real life. But this was a blanket we grabbed to use to sit at the Taylor Swift concert. We didn't have <laughs> tickets. We drove six hours to sit outside of this concert. Um, and before you laugh too hard, we were two of like 60,000 people who also sat outside of this concert. <laughs> And it was amazing. We we saw her um, a few weeks ago and we had to come again. Yeah. <laughs> I paid $5 for this. I'll just use it at home. Um, and then this was from Red, White, and Blue too. It's soft surroundings. And size small and it's just like a fleece, comfy piece in really good shape. And also from there, is a pair of Lulu leggings. They had these listed for 24, but um, they were half off and they're size 12. So um, I was happy to pay that for a bigger size and they have the code on the circle. So they are more recent. So if oh. they have the numbers around it, it's more recent than oh. when it's just the number in the middle. The more you know. Uh, this is more state sale, so. So we got another one of those frames, except this one's more of like white painted gold. <laughs> you can see. Okay. This and is Mare's. Yeah, so I'm a huge Disney fan. Uh, this is the Orlando Land, um, but it's from the opening edition of the Walt Disney of Walt Disney World in Orlando. Um, so I'm very excited. It has old stamps on it, and was delivered to Raymond Arendt on India Atlantic Drive in Orlando, Florida, and then sent to someone in Pennsylvania after that. Hmm. So I'm very excited to look through this. And then this is a big pile of like old music books. Um, our mom, I don't know what the heck she does with them. She usually will like take the music out and like make crafts with it. However, these are like very old. This is from 1932. Oh my god. So like I'm not positive if she's going to want to rip these up or not. But you paid these. But it was $3 for all of these books. So um and this is a really old National Geographic from 1924. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. Wow. They had some really cool stuff um and the prices were really good. I don't know about where you guys are from, but estate sales by where we are from are ex super expensive, usually, for the most part, um, because they're usually run by companies and not, like, this was just, like, the kids of the person who passed away, so, yeah, $3 for all of this. Just a bandana, orange bandana, has dogs on it, it's, like, dog motifs. This is um, an Ikea blanket that I paid $10 for at the second red, white, and blue we went to. Um, it's like a bright pink, purple, orange plaid that we brought to Taylor Swift and looked really good with our outfits. It did. Uh, this is more from the second red, white, and blue. No, first, first red, white, and blue. Um, some more American Eagle jeans. And Those these, are yeah, these are a high rise flare and they were four bucks, which is great. Um, so as you know, if you've watched my hauls before, I find good brands, like designer brands at our thrift stores. And that definitely wasn't the case here. So it was kind of cool to see like, okay, if I lived here, what would I pick up to be able to do this? And you definitely have to have a little bit of a different mindset of, well, I only paid $4 for these and these would have been 15 at home. Um, but I'll only get like 20, 25 for them, but definitely just different. Um, okay, right, so these are Good American, um, size 12. I paid $12 for these. I'm guessing they're maybe a slim leg. I don't think they're quite skinny. 
No. But uh, hopefully you get around 40 for those. You cursed yourself because now here's I know. frame jeans. <laughs> I did find a few good pairs of denim. And there were some other ones that I left behind just for price. But these are frame um, lay high skinny, which at home would be priced up and I would have left behind. But for $7.50 for these, I grabbed those. Um, and they were size 30, which is nice. Usually they'll be like a size 24. <laughs> I got a pair of Tevas. Um, shoes definitely aren't something I find great um, ones at home either. Uh, or they're really expensive if they are good. I'm going to say these are men's. What do you think? Probably. I think they might be men's. Um, I don't know if it'll tell me. Uh, US size 9. Yeah. Yeah, oh they're men's. God. No. No? I couldn't get my foot into it. Oh yeah, they're men's. They're men's. <laughs> they're men's. <laughs> so, um, five dollars for these. Lily. Little girls Lily. I saw the girl putting this out and I was like, Can I have that? Um, size kids small, five dollars. Um, I think it's pretty recent because I recognize this print. 2021, so uh, hopefully list this for about 30. This is your and one more pair of jeans. These are Madewell, and they are the Slim Boyfriend, the Slim Boy Jean. I don't think that's one I've sold very often. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Summer 2016. So they're a little bit older, but I think Boyfriend is still... A good style. They're I think definitely they're like a little a straight jean. Yeah, they're a little low rise, but um, seven dollars for those. And Madewell is one of my best selling brands. Okay, then we each have some stuff from a Salvation Army. Um, we don't have too many around us, really. There's like one. one. Um, I don't know if we've even been to it. Uh, we've been to one in New York City, which is really good. But their prices are always so good. Um, so I got this pair of. Brand new Lucky flip-flops for myself. Those were four bucks. And that might have been the most expensive thing I got from the whole store. Um, these are Madewell. And these are size XL, but I feel like they look really big for Those an XL. Those are really big. Um, so these are like a pull-on style. They're from 2021. And they were $6, so I lied. They weren't. The shoes weren't the most expensive <laughs> thing, but um, I'm interested to see what these look like on somebody because I feel like those are really big for an XL. And these I got um, because they were new with tags. They're Torrid um, size 4X. They were $65 and they're like a tie-dye jogger. You, it looks like you paid five bucks. Um, that color was half. No, this was the 99 cent color. She got them for yeah, 99 so cents. they were 99 cents. So, especially if you're new with tags, I was happy with that. Um, and there was a pair of kind of ugly, like Lulu, LuLaRoe looking leggings from Torrid. They were also new with tags in 99 cents, but they were a size 6X, and I feel like that would be a hard sell <laughs> because Poshmark doesn't have that as a size. Ah. So like, I feel like the searching for that would be hard. Um, and they were really ugly. So <laughs> I love them on. These are American Eagle High Rise Skinny Kick and they were $3. Those are nice. They were a little, so little the, the theme of this trip was I got a lot of American Eagle jeans. And purses that aren't hideous. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are some more black jeans. These are Everlane High Rise Slim Straight. And um, I think I paid $6 for these two. Just black. So I have four pairs of black jeans after saying I don't buy black jeans. Um, this I grabbed because it was $0.99. Cents. It's Talbot's. I just liked That's it. That's a fun print. Yeah. I thought it was a nice cut for 99 cents. Um, if I decide I don't want to sell it, thread up for 99 cents is fine. And then this is the best find from there. 
and this was eight dollars so this was the most expensive thing i got and it's super strappy so it's gonna be hard to show but it's a maxi dress from free people <laughs> it has so much going there's on. so much happening here um insert stock photo <laughs> um so yeah for eight dollars for a free people maxi is always a good deal and then i got three things from the salvation army one is a purse no this is brandless maybe worthington that's like kohl's jc penny something but it's like a little lavender bag a little top handle cute i paid two dollars really aesthetically pleasing cluster yeah. of items from the salvation army um this is from am am a new ana it's oh, kohl's. ana um it's just a like floral mini dress very on brand for me long sleeve like a pretty lavender print it's very well with the purse and then the last thing are these little like rattan or wood looking set of three butterfly wall hanging things um i like butterflies but not in real life i paid 99 cents for all three um this is from the first red white and blue this is a walmart dress um it's time and true i paid four four for it yeah because green was the only color not on so yeah. it, I, it's definitely supposed to be like an off the shoulder dress i won't wear it that way i'll wear it with those sleeves Cute. up um it was just like a nice basic and it's new yeah, it's, it's only new. a partial tag but still yeah four bucks whatever four to both i'm gonna do that one last actually no i'll do it now oh there's something wrapped in it i don't know what this is um this is a really cute jacket i took the scariest photo of myself in it because i couldn't find a mirror it's from woman within um but it's like a little floral a ditzy floral um and i have another quilted coat that i love that i'm excited to add this to the rotation and then i just got a pair of like comfy shorts or shorts to walk in around my neighborhood four bucks for four bucks can you see how much this was so uh, a little bit extra um and then oh another animal to spray paint for my wedding that was four dollars just another bunny <laughs> um and then to finish off we forgot this was more from the bins so <laughs> i don't want to say is this it but like i feel like we, we had more <laughs> We are at minute 58 of recording. Um, this is a North Face jacket from the bins. It's always fantastic. And it's a 650, which means it's one of their down collection ones. Wow. Um, it has a couple little schmutzes on it, but this is like it feels really nice. I know. I I sell <laughs> Fair Earth works in fashion. Um, this is American Eagle mustard i might take this one to play-dohs i feel like play-dohs would like that yeah you might just have to wait yeah once upon a child will take all year round um they just took like a winter jacket and three pairs of snow boots from me and it's june um but play-dohs is definitely more um only buys in season this is a vintage sweater i love to sell these they do super well um on depop and poshmark really um, the brand is Maggie Lawrence. It has big shoulder pads and it's a size large. Let me do that one. Oh, this is the other free people one that I talked about like an hour and a half ago, it feels like. Uh, another size extra small in like an olive this time with the cold shoulder sweater. Someone like that sweater. Um, this is Ann Taylor. It's kind of like a peplum blazer. I'll probably send thread up this one. Um, Goodwill wanted $7 for it. We paid a dollar maybe this is super cute this is talbot size 10 petite has lily vibes i used to own a skirt like this from talbot's did you wear it to go out to the bars in college <laughs> probably <laughs> oh this was a fun find because i thought it had oh, short yeah. sleeves this it is does made not. well i bet this is a wool blend it's really right. nice let's find out it touches like a it feels like a wool blend. Yeah, 60% merino. Um, fall 2021. Corners up. I yeah. 
if you said that with confidence, no one would have judged you. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said what? Touches. <laughs> yeah, so that was cool. The sleeves were tucked in and Mara was like, oh, it's like a sleeveless sweater, but it wasn't. This the last item? Two more. Two more? Oh. Um, this is Loft. A blouse. Um, I grabbed it because I thought the square neck was trendy. Light pink. And last but not least is a page black of boring one to go out. It's like a page black sheer work shirt. I'll probably blouse. send that to thread up because Paige doesn't yeah. do great. But it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Detail, but... Like the cuffs are like a this is not demonstrating what it needs to. <laughs> So thank you for watching this very long haul that's probably chaotic. Um, we had a lot of stuff, if you didn't notice. We've had um, a very fun weekend. So. Yeah. Thank you to our dad for driving us. He's over there. Pop your head in, dad. No, it's okay. <laughs> Dad's over there. Um, and we're going to thrift our way home tomorrow. So We are apparently going to the largest thrift store in the country. Yes. Uh, it's 74,000 square feet. So hopefully stay tuned for that haul and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.